What's up guys and welcome back to the Diablo 3 build guide. This one's going to be going over the Crusader Thorns, the Invoker build. I use this build to do the set dungeon, but also it's just kind of my main farming build right now in non-season. So to start off with gear, you're going to be using all six pieces of the Thorns of Invoker set. And this is going to be primarily just built around Thorns damage. Like uh, your two set bonus on here, you know, in a 15 yard radius around you, um, the enemies take thorn damage whenever you use punish slash or you block an attack thorns increase by 140 percent and then uh, it also goes on to uh you take a 50 percent less damage for 20 seconds after damaging enemy with bombardment so we're gonna be spamming that a lot too and then the six piece set bonus is the attack speed of punish or slash is increased by 50 percent and deal 5400 percent of your thorns damage on first hit other than the set pieces you're going to be using Heart of Iron, which is a really big part of this build. And it can give you anywhere up to 300% of your of Thorns damage from your Vitality. Your belt is going to be the Belt of the Trove. And it can roll between 6 to 8 seconds. Every 6 to 8 seconds, call down Bombardment on random enemies. Convention of Elements, or you can use Justice Lantern here. Depending on which one you have, that's better. It'd cube the other one. And then... You have Hack, which can roll up to 100%, and that is up to 100% of your Thorns damage is applied on every attack. The shield you're going to use is Spiker. Enemies affected by Provoke take double damage from Thorns. And you can start to see how all this is starting to play into the actual Thorn damage itself. You're using Compass Rose and Traveler's Pledge and to keep your uh, damage taken, your damage reduction up, and also your damage while you're standing still. You're going to be using this build to basically champion elite hunt in rifts so killing trash is not really a big priority here unless you get kind of blocked off and then your legendary gems you're using gogoth swiftness which is going to be for dodge and attack speed and also for cooldown reduction and then you have ban the trapped for uh the movement speed and uh, within 15 yards and all that stuff and then the thorns uh, gem itself is the chip and it'll also taunt enemies when you uh, hit with your primary skill. As far as stat rolls on everything, you're looking for cooldown reduction, try to get bid on mostly everything, get some crit chance, and then if you can, try to get physical damage percent plus on your bracers and your amulet. I don't have it here because I had to roll bit onto these and crit onto this as well, but physical damage percentage is going to actually increase your thorns, which is really important. Going on to the cube items, Going on to the cube items, we have, for the weapon, Swift Mount, which doubles the duration of our Steed Charge to 6 seconds. Uh, Quilla Karas, which is going to give us 90% um, of our primary resource, all damage taken is reduced by 50%. And then, like I said before, you can either use Justice Lantern or Convention of Elements here. Justice Lantern is going to gain, you're going to gain damage reduction equal to 55% of your block chance. For your skills, you use Punish with Clarity. This is going to give you some block chance and some attack speed. For Consecration with Bed of Nails, you're going to be doing damage to enemies standing within the Consecration, and it'll also allow you to heal you and your allies while standing in it. Iron Skin with Reflective Skin is going to increase your Thorns damage when it's active, and it absorbs 50% of all the incoming damage for 4 seconds. Steed Charge is your main mobility spell with Endurance. Base is 3 seconds, but Swift Mount will give you 6. And then Bombardment with Barrels of Spikes. This is going to um, increase your barrel damage, each barrel damage or 200% of your thorns and then it's also going to do um, a crap ton of normal damage. Then you have uh, Provoke with Hit Me. It's going to taunt all nearby enemies and also you'll gain 50% block chance for er, for 4 seconds after you cast Provoke. Your passives are going to be Fervor giving you 15% attack speed and also 15% cooldown reduction. Lord Commander which is going to give you a 25% reduction on Steed Charge and a 35% reduction on Bombardment and Phalanx is also on there, but we're not using it. Iron Maiden is going to be a Thorns passive, increases by 50%, and Finery is going to be 1.5% strength for every gym you have socketed. And the reason we do that is because we're actually going to be trying to balance our strength with our vitality because of Heart of Iron. So as you see right here, I have strength gems in my chest, and I have Vit gems in my pants to balance out. So as you can see my Paragon, I'm almost splitting one for one on strength and vitality just to try to get thorns damage from bit and also maintain some dps with strength your priorities here are going to be obviously movement speed and then strength and vitality for your offense you're going to be going for cooldown reduction and then attack speed and then crit chance crit damage for defense you're going to be looking at resist all and then 
armor, life, and life regeneration. And then here you're going to be doing life per hit, area damage, resource cost reduction, and then gold fine. So this is a GR60. As you can see, I'm just going from champion pack to a champion pack, whatever, lead pack. I'm just lead hunting for the most part. Once I get to where I'm going, I'm going to throw down Consecration and uh, throw up Iron Skin and Provoke. And then just start slapping them with Punish and get doing that really massive damage to them at the beginning. You can see that I can also get trapped here too. Sometimes you have to burn your speed charge, but if you have good cooldown reduction, then you can pretty much keep it up a lot of the time to get through the rift. That's really what speeds it up. The six seconds is much better than three, obviously. Like I said, this is my farming build right now for non-season, just experimenting a little bit, taking a little bit of a break from Demon Hunter, but it's really fun. The thorns is nice at lower, whenever you're on like actual T13, you know, you can uh, do bounties pretty quickly as well. Most normal mobs will uh, kill themselves from the thorns. But I hope this build guide was helpful if you're trying to build a thorns crusader and, or do this uh, dungeon, whatever the case may be. I will put the link to this build's uh, Diablo fan page in the description for a quick reference. And if you like Diablo content or Blizzard content in general, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to see more, and I will see you guys next time.